Aladdin Creations. Normal cells in cervical smear. A cervical smear, also called a pap test, is a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women. Detecting cervical cancer, early with a pap smear gives you a greater chance at a cure. Pap smear can also detect changes, in your cervical cells, that suggest cancer may develop in the future. For detecting and differentiate these abnormal cells, you must have clear knowledge about normal cells in cervical smear. So there are six main normal cells we can see in cervical smear. They are Superficial squamous cells Intermediate squamous cells Parabasal cells Metaplastic squamous cells Endocervical cells and Endometrial cells Superficial squamous cells The superficial squamous cells comprises the outermost layer of the non-keratinizing epithelium. These cells are large and flat polygonal cells. 40 to 60 micrometer in diameter, we can see a singly or clusters. The cytoplasm is abundant and usually get pinkish to orange in color, and occasionally folded. But color is not good criterion to differentiate superficial squamous cells from intermediate squamous cells, because sometimes superficial cells also stain with blue color. So we always should look for nuclear details. So superficial squamous cells nucleus, are always small, central and pycnotic. Superficial squamous cells are seen in abundance, during the late proliferative, and ovulatory phases of the menstrual cycle. Intermediate squamous cells Intermediate squamous cells, are found in the stratum spongiosum layer, of the squamous epithelium. These cells are take polygonal shaped, and 30 to 60 micrometers in diameters. Intermediate cells are occur, singly or in sheets. Nucleus are centrally placed, and get round or oval shape. Also even, fine, granular chromatin can see. The cytoplasm is abundant translucent get green color but poorly fixed cells may stained in pink color. Intermediate squams are seen in abundance, when progesterone is at high levels. This occurs, during the luteal and early follicular phases of the menstrual cycle, and the second and third trimester of pregnancy. Parabasal squamous cells Parabasal squamous cells, are found in the basal layer of the squamous epithelium. Usually these cells can see, as singly or in sheets. Also parabasal cells get round or oval shape, and dense green color cytoplasm. Nucleus of the parabasal cell centrally located, round or oval shape and occupying about half of the cell. Also can see fine evenly granular chromatin. These cells are often seen in patients, who lack estrogen, including those who are premenstrual, postpartum, taking estrogen restricting hormones, or postmenopausal. Metaplastic squamous cells Squamous metaplastic cells, are round to polygonal in shape, with dense blue-green staining cytoplasm and, round centrally located nuclei. They arise from the basal layer of glandular epithelium, as a protective response to stimuli, creating the transformation zone. Usually metaplastic cell size is about 20 to 30 micrometers, occur singly and in loose sheets. Also shows, cobblestone pattern of arrangement. Endocervical cells Endocervical cells can be seen on PAP tests, in three arrangements, single cells, as strips, or as a sheet. Also endocervical cells show, and face honeycomb appearance, due to prominent cell borders. The cytoplasm is cyanophilic translucent, or vacuolated. Nuclei have evenly granular chromatin, Endometrial cells Endometrial cells, are small and cuboidal. Exodus pattern is seen immediately after menstruations. Later. The nuclei are densely hyperchromatic, and may be round to oval to bean shaped. Don't forget to comment your ideas about video, 
and what is is the next video you need. Subscribe for update with more latest videos. Also you can be a my Patreon, and help me to design more videos like this.